Hi guys, it's Jesus from Low Code Agency and I just finished this template that can help companies manage their events and their employees attending the events. So let's jump right in. We have two kinds of views. We have the admin view and we have the employees view, right? So I'm looking right now at the admin view. As you can see, there are five tabs down here and an admin view can easily add a session or any kind of event. So he'll go here and select the name of the event. Uh, let's assume Tony's birthday. Then they'll select a picture and the content. So we'll have a blast. And in case it's not a birthday, but maybe it's a training program or something like that, that they can upload a PDF file or any kind of file here. And then they'll create right away the event. So we have a bunch of events here. And what we want to do is invite our employees. So we have this second tab, which is called employees, which also only the admin will be able to see. And we have all the employees right now. So we can easily create a new employee. So Let's call him Drew and Drew at gmail.com. Why am I having the admin create the employee? Because I'm assuming this is a whitelist template, a whitelisted app. So we want the admin to create, to give access to these users. So going back to my events, I just added Lou because he just became part of the company and I want to invite this employee to Lucy's birthday. So I'll click here, I'll select Drew and I'll submit this button. So what I see down here is the employees I have invited to this event. So, and the timestamp. And then I have the employees that have confirmed that they are attending the event. I can also see that from the employees view. So. If I go to Nancy's profile, I not only have her email and her phone number, but I also have uh, the sessions I've invited her to and the sessions she has confirmed she'll be coming to. If I want a better or a general view of each uh, of my employees, how many I have invited and how many uh, have confirmed, I have this stats tab where I can see I have invited nine people over to Lucy's birthday party six people to session 27, six people to a Thursday meeting, and I can see the whole list here. And I also can see the how many employees have confirmed that they are attending to those events. So let's jump right in into the employees view. So I'm back and I am Drew now. So when I get access to this app, this is the first screen I'll see. I'll see my profile tab, which is pretty much empty, except my name and the email that my, probably my HR department assigned me. So I have to create a profile and I'll do that clicking here on the pencil. So my name is already filled out. I'll probably add my phone number. I'll add an image, which will be my profile picture. So let's choose my picture here. And then just to keep track of everything, I'll probably have them choose the department they belong to. So now here I'm done. So I'll have my picture here. I have my welcome message to check out the events and sessions that I have been invited to. And I can dismiss this event because I don't want to see it ever again. I go to my sessions tab and I can see that I'm already invited to a couple of events. I have been invited to Lucy's and I've been invited to the sales team meeting. So I can go to this event, click the event, see the date, the category. And in this case, as we spoke about earlier, if we, there's a documents or something, we can add them here or the admin already added these documents and the employees will be able to see these documents and I can confirm my attendance here. So this item disappears from here and I only have the sales meeting that I'm not gonna confirm my attendance to. So if I go back to my profile, my, I can see that I've already confirmed I'll be attending Lucy's birthday party. So what this app does is it helps the HR department to figure out, to invite people to the events, uh, 
sessions, share documents with different teams, and keep track of who is attending and who is not to the events. Finally, I am back in my admin view. If I want to keep track of who uh, attended the event, I also can do that from the sessions tab. So I have all the events and I want to see who attended Lucy's birthday party. So I have the employees I invited, but I also can give a check mark to the employees that attended that event or not. So probably this user never appeared at the event, but these other users did. So that's a template and that's how it helps companies keep track of, keep track of events, keep track of employees that should attend the different events. I hope it works for you and uh, we're happy to help if you get stuck. Thank you.